Hey guys, welcome back here to the test server. And uh, we have something brand new that we want to show you guys here on the test server. What Pixonic came up with. I think it's uh, going to be totally crazy what they came up with. We see down here on the bottom we have here a new logo of a rocket of some sort. And uh, when we go on that, we get a spaceship called the Dreadnought A42. Now this is a spaceship that will do damage to enemy robots here. We're going <coughs> to click on the spaceship. We're going to see some, uh, some detail here. Now what the spaceship does is, it launches a laser with a radius, so when you are targeting an enemy robot and if you hit the hit the, the loaded circle, we will show you that in a minute in game, how that works. When the spaceship is loaded 100%, it's gonna fire a laser with a radius around it on your enemy robot from yeah from f it's gonna fire a laser beam with a radius from outer space uh, onto your enemy robot when you click the, the fire button but the, the laser here I'm gonna reject that but the laser has to be loaded 100% before you can you can fired it off here so we are gonna see some details here that is the mothership a warship capable of unleashing a laser strike from orbit so that's what I'm talking about here when the laser ship is loaded 100% it fires off an unleashing laser strike from orbit with a radius around it, which, but you have to punch your your targeting system at a robot before you can fire off a laser. And so when you have uh, punched your targeting system at an enemy robot, then you can uh, fire off the laser, and that laser is gonna hit your your enemy robot that you have targeted, and he's gonna get a whole bunch of damage here. It says here the laser strike can do a damage here of 55,000. That is awesome, guys. So another extra 55,000 damage from a laser strike that's coming out of orbit. That is called the orbital strike. A laser strike that hits the enemy and deals damage in a radius. That's what I was talking about earlier. You have a radius around the the orbital strike when it hits the enemy robot but like I said you have to have your targeting system from your robot pointing at an enemy robot before you can fire that orbital strike laser alright you can um, tune it right up but you, you can't um, I don't think you can uh, tune it up on the test server as just just yet but this is probably going to be coming into war robots in the near future but this is just a test to see how it works and uh, how much damage it can do or it can inflict on an enemy robot so we are just uh, testing this at the moment open strike a laser strike that hits the enemy and deals damage in a radius so that is what is new here on the test server that is the dreadnought a42 spaceship and the laser strike is called the orbital strike yeah here shows the details again that is the mothership that is uh, floating around up in outer space which probably since the the laser orbital strike out onto your enemy robot so you can what you can do is you can uh, activate the mothership here 
when it's loaded at 100% and punch your robot at an enemy and fire off your laser to do extra damage in a far distance. So, so it doesn't really matter how far your enemy robot is, if it's 500 meters or, or 600 or 700 or 800 meters, that doesn't really matter. As long as you have your, your robot pointed at an enemy, then you can fire off that laser when your sp spaceship here is loaded at 100%. So you can only fire off the laser once. And when you have fired off your laser once, you have to wait at least, I think it's uh, one minute or so before your spaceship has loaded back to 100%. But we are gonna, we're gonna go in-game in here and we're gonna show you that. So let's wait until we have found a battle here, where we can uh, show. You. Yes, we have found a battle. So we are gonna jump into. What are we gonna jump in, into? A typhoon here. <coughs> All right. So we are in our typhoon here, and now I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. All right. We're gonna we're gonna move here in behind the wall. We have a little circle down there. It's loading up to 100%. It starts at 1% and loads up to 100%. So when that little uh, icon down here has loaded up to 100%, then you can uh, fire off your laser. So at the moment, we can't orbital request not charged. That means we have to wait until the orbital uh, strike laser is charged at 100 percent and then we can uh, press the fire button here and fire off the laser at our enemy target but like I said you have to you have to target your enemy first before you can fire off the laser otherwise when you fire off the laser and you don't have an enemy target target it then your laser is not going to hit your your enemy robot that you have targeted so we're going to have to wait until that has loaded up to 100%. So in the meanwhile, we are going to try and do some damage here to our enemies, to our red guys over there. Let's see if we can get a couple of people down here. We're going to use our EMP here to lock that person down. Okay, that didn't. Okay, we got the kill. Awesome. You, you can see now that our our rocket, our laser request down there has a uh, charge up to fifty five percent. But we're gonna have to wait until that has been loaded up to one hundred percent. So let's see if we can do some damage to this guy here. Uh, up there we have a hawk. We're gonna fish shift here real quick because. That D meter there is firing. I think somebody hit that D meter with the uh, with the laser already. Okay, he is using the anti control. I think is what that is. So we're gonna use our EMP here. Yeah, if you see that laser that came down there, that is the laser that is coming from the orbital area from our spaceship. I just got hit with that laser. Our laser is um, almost ready here, 93%. And when that is at 100%, and then we can uh, target an enemy and fire off our laser beam from our spaceship. We can uh, send the request here. We're gonna face shift here. 98%, 100%. Now I'm gonna target here this robot, and we're gonna do this. And as you guys have seen, we have fired off that laser beam from our spaceship. And now we're gonna jump into another robot here. And now we have to wait a second time until our orbital strike laser has been loaded to 100%. I hope we can uh, stay alive for, for that amount of time. Uh, I don't know how much time that is maybe 
a minute or two or a minute and a half until that has loaded to 100%. Then we can uh, fire off another laser. We can we can fire off lasers every time that laser has been loaded to 100%. So in the meantime, let's see if we can uh, do some more damage here. We're gonna yeah. All the some of those players are below deck. Hardly anybody on top of the deck here. They're all below. We are here f playing on a on a carrier here, an aircraft carrier. That's why we're gonna shoot this Typhon here real quick. We're gonna lock him down, maybe. No, that didn't kill him but it did amount of damage we um have the vipers here on the out joint those uh, vipers they have a damage over time effect which which means when you fire at an enemy here those viper shots they're gonna do damage over time all right we are here at 26 percent still not ready i'm gonna press the fire button and i can't send a Request to fire off that laser beam. We're gonna have to wait until it's at 100% before we can fire it off. But we are here winning the match, so I don't think we're gonna get another chance at firing, firing that laser beam. We're gonna jump into the air real quick here. We're gonna try to take him down with our flames. Yeah, we have won. So this is it guys, let me know what you guys think of this video and let me, let me know in comments below what you guys think of, of the, the laser beam that is being activated from a rocket above the uh, above in space. It's the, the Dreadnought A42 that is the spaceship that you can send a, a request to to fire off that laser beam at an enemy robot. Let me know in comments below what you guys think about that or if Pixonic should uh, implement that into the game or or not. I'm hearing a couple of leaks somewhere that it is supposed to be or it might be implemented into the game in the near future but that's miles away. We are just uh, testing this new feature here from Pixonic and uh, it's, uh, testing this new feature here guys. So thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.